Bitcoin is a type of cryptocurrency. There are many other types of these, but Bitcoin is the biggest. Other types of coins include Ethereum, Dash, and Dogecoin. Bitcoin was quietly introduced to the world in 2008 as nothing more than an obscure piece of code by an anonymous man who was named under the alias Satoshi Nakamoto. After three years of Bitcoin's existence, the price of one Bitcoin rose to an incredible one dollar. Yeah, not amazing. Four months later, however, one Bitcoin was worth thirty dollars. The demand for Bitcoin began to increase gradually, then suddenly. Towards the end of 2013, one Bitcoin could be purchased for roughly $900. It was routinely the subject of media coverage around the world. Since then, Bitcoin has changed in price massively, but it's now worth more than ever before. At the time of creating this video, one Bitcoin is worth over $1,200. Bitcoin is a currency, just like any other currency, except it's completely online. The key description of Bitcoin is that it is decentralized. This means that there is no central body which controls the system, but rather the system is maintained by everyone inside it. One way to understand this is to compare it to the real life case study conducted by Milton Friedman in 1992. The people of the island of Yap in Micronesia used large round limestone discs as currency. These were too heavy to move around, so they decided to place them in prominent places. When one person wanted to give some of their precious discs to another person, the owner would publicly announce the change in ownership, but the discs would remain where they were. The islanders would maintain a collective memory of the ownership of the stones, as well as who owned the stones previously. In terms of the Bitcoin system, this collective memory is called the blockchain. Here's a sad story about an early Bitcoin user. An IT worker in Wales generated 7,500 Bitcoins in 2009. He then forgot all about them and threw out his computer in a clearout. By the time he realised his mistake, his 7,500 Bitcoins were worth 4.6 million pounds, but were still on his hard drive, which was buried in a landfill site in Newport. He went over to the site, which was now the size of a football field, and was told that his computer was probably buried three to five feet beneath the surface somewhere on the site. He spent the next few weeks digging for it, but to no avail. The local council had to bar anyone from entering the site after the case was publicised. One way of acquiring bitcoins is via the process of mining. You can use the power of your computer to maintain the bitcoin system by authenticating transactions. As well as this, computers must guess the value of a very long number, which will be harder to guess as time progresses. The computer which guesses correctly gains lots of bitcoins. However, when competing against every other miner, your chances of winning are very low. To combat this, users can join a syndicate known as a mining pool. All people in the pool combine their power to try and win together. When they succeed, the prize is split between everyone in the pool. Currently, you can't directly use bitcoins to buy a Freddo at Tesco's. However, there are a handful of sites where you can use them. A few examples are Steam, Gift, and Microsoft. One of the controversies surrounding bitcoin is its shady uses on sites on the dark net. The dark net allows users to remain completely anonymous while browsing certain sites. This allows for illegal activities to take place outside of government regulation, including the purchasing of illegal firearms and narcotics. This link to criminal activities has meant that there have been many discussions surrounding whether or not Bitcoin should be banned. So, is Bitcoin the future of digital payments? Nobody's quite sure. All we know is that Bitcoin is an innovation in the way we transfer money. Perhaps one day we'll all be using it. Thanks for watching.